Welcome to winter on the Grand Mesa National Forest in western Colorado. Today, the Forest Service is all about bringing more kids into the woods to discover the thrill of the chill. During the next few days, over 300 sixth grade students will be participating in a winter ecology field trip where they'll be learning a new winter sport, cross-country skiing, they'll be connecting with nature, and having fun in the snow. The Grand Mesa Uncompagre and Gunnison National Forest partnered with the Grand Mesa Nordic Council and received the More Kids in the Woods grant where they acquired additional cross-country ski gear and snow science equipment. Today, we're going to use that gear to explore the National Forest. You never know what you're going to find. There are surprises everywhere. So let's go check it out. Ready on the trail of the chill! My name is Anita Evans, and I'm uh, with the Grand Mesa Nordic Council Skis for Kids program, and also um, do teach at Delta Middle right now with um, science. And we like to do a winter ed because with the kids because it fits right in with the sixth grade curriculum. It has it relates to the water cycle. It relates to the um, water sheds that we have here in Colorado. It relates to the meteorology unit that we do. And basically, I like to tell the story of snow, the story of water, how it, it um, evaporates, condenses, and precipitates, and collects. And this is one of the collection points for our drinking water and for our irrigation water in Delta County. So we we'll talk about the structure of the snow and the layer cake effect of the snow, how it builds up over time since the beginning of the winter. And we also talk, another big part of this is safety. We talk about um, making sure that kids can go out and have fun and know where to be safe in the winter. Come back. Run back. Avalanche, salute! Woohoo! Colorado snow is um, historically unstable. And as it builds up over time, we have the temperature gradient between the top of the snow and the bottom of the snow that creates what we call temperature gradient crystals or sugar crystals, which are a huge sliding layer for slab avalanches, especially this year in Colorado. These huge flat ball bearing crystals. The four S's of survival are stay put, stay calm, shelter, and signal. So I'm Matt Dare with the Forest Service and today I'm working with all the kids from Delta Middle School. We are um, studying snow and performing measurements of how much water is in snow. Snow is made up of two things, water and air. And as snow sits on the ground, it changes over time. And so we've been talking about the purpose of snow and how snow supplies the water we need to live. And also how we measure snow and how we keep track of how much water is in that snow because that water is the water we use down in the valley. So at Cozy Critters, the kids are learning how snow lovers or animals that are really active during the winter time survive, what they wear to be insulation for themselves, like fur, feathers, or blubber. And they also learn a little bit about microclimates, like where wild animals might go in the forest to protect them from the elements, like a snow cave, or a dirt burrow, or maybe next to a tree. And so these are different types of small microclimates that help animals survive the winter. The blubber hand is a really effective demonstration to see how blubber works as insulation. So we have two children and one child will put the Crisco glove on and another child will have a bare hand and they'll submerge it in a bucket of cold water for a minute. And after a minute we take the temperature to see how much the temperature's dropped. And then we talk about hypothermia and how it doesn't take much for our bodies to be submerged in water before the temperature goes from 98 degrees to 95 degrees, which is when the hypothermia sets in. So it's a really good effective demonstration and a really good segue to talk about hypothermia and how to be safe when we're out in the wintertime ice fishing or walking near creeks or rivers or any kind of frozen ice body. The best thing about cross country skiing in the forest is when people were falling because it was really funny and it took them like a couple minutes to get back up. Yeah, we skied around the lake out there. It was yeah. so fun until we fell. Yeah, you fell. No, I fell. Skiing was pretty frustrating because I fell a lot, but it was also really fun. Cross country skiing was fun because we got to search for different items in the woods like pine cones and different types of mosses. When we were skiing, we got to go downhill instead of just all the way up. We learned that the snowpack is our frozen reservoir of water for the 
for the rest of the year. When I visited Snow Pit, I learned that there are a lot of layers of powder rather than just one. Snow Pit was really big and we could see like how much snow was in it. When she put the shovel down, the layers fell separately, so it was really easy to um, count. Them. Animals are, that are snow lovers use blubber, feathers, uh, or fur for good insulation. Foxes and coyotes. How, how are they somehow different? Coyotes are bigger. You guys already said this had a lot of air, right? What do you think about the rice? Three things animals need to feather, fur, and fat.